Welcome back. It is 6.53, and here's your top seven before seven. Number one, Josh Stone's first alert weather forecast. All right, thanks, Ray and Stephanie. Well, here's the forecast for the week. We're going to have a better chance of rain than we saw over the weekend. If you're heading out to services for Yom Kippur, we could have about 30% chance of shower activity uh, during the afternoon. But highs today will be topping out. Uh, actually, highs over the next several days and today as well will top out in the upper 80s and low 90s. And the average for this time of the year is 89. So this is really right where we should be. But we're more in like a uh, seasonal type of pattern. So that's your forecast. Let's go to the traffic master. Ray. That's all. Oh, thank you very much. You're too kind. Number two, first alert traffic. Lockwood Ridge Road, an accident there at Drake Boulevard just south of State Road 70. Be aware of that. Otherwise, no major concerns right now on Suncoast Roads. And number three, grief counselors will be on hand this morning at Lakewood Ranch High School after two teens were killed in a car accident this Saturday night on their way to homecoming. Number four, an aspirin a day may not keep the doctor away. After all, a new study shows that people who took low doses of daily aspirin don't necessarily benefit over those who took a placebo. In fact, those who took the aspirin appeared to bleed more. As always, consult your doctor before making any changes. Number five happening today, Governor Rick Scott is going to be bringing his Senate campaign to Sarasota County. He's going to be at Moho's Restaurant in Venice at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Number six, FEMA is testing a new warning system that works a little like the Amber Alert system. The goal is to alert everybody to emergencies like severe weather and missing children as well. Most cell phone users will receive an alert this Thursday afternoon titled Presidential Alert. And number seven, what's trending? Well, what do you do when one of the players on your NFL team retires during halftime of the televised game? Uh, I don't know, but it happened yesterday. Buffalo Bills cornerback Vontae Davis just left the game. He walked out of the statement. He left the stadium at halftime saying that he retired. Now, in this statement, he said his injuries have taken a toll on him and led him to kind of reevaluate his career. The 10 year veteran signed a one year deal with the Bills. Now, he said in this statement that he meant no disrespect to his teammate or to his coaches, but you like left in the middle of the game. In his statement, I read this online too, it seemed like he, it was something that he'd been thinking about for a while, yeah. like upon reflection. It's like, he just left in the middle of the game. Well, 